I'm pleased you are so, new, so numerous. So it's a good thing, a bad thing in some way. <laughs> it's a good thing because uh, that means that the, that the topic at stake is uh, <clears throat> interesting you. And in fact, it's an opportunity for you to share your experience and, and your, 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 your field and in your empirical um, analysis and your, your, your first uh, <clears throat> Uh, issue you want to develop and, and research question, but on the other hand, you are you are so numerous that it will be difficult to uh, to have uh, a round table and a complete uh, discussion around the topic at, at stake. So I propose you to make a very short and very very short introduction. You will get the slide at your disposal uh, <clears throat> later. So so don't worry if I'm go too quick uh, in in my in my presentation. And uh, in order that uh, you should be able to 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 raise your your point or question and to present yourself and your research, your research question, uh, please be short in the way you are presenting yourself and you are presenting your your uh, your topic. If you wish, we could have later the opportunity to have a, a further discussion regarding your, your your research question and your thesis. But of course, uh, what is interesting is, is just to be able to identify each other in order that you can share your experience and continue the discussion later. So, uh, okay, I have to share my screen. Excuse me. Okay, is it okay? I guess this is okay. Yes. Are you seeing completely the slide? It's okay. I, I, I guess it's uh, it's good. So, just a, a, as an introduction, in in a very short uh, uh, in a very short time, in order to to let you uh, discuss and and present uh, your case. Some issue to consider why is it important to, 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 to consider the, the new form of management at the digital age, whether it be supported by, by the, the new innovation taking place uh, thanks to digital technology, and whether <clears throat> uh, it's an opportunity also to rise, to develop a startup, to, to rise new, uh, to, to rise new, new company, to, uh, to, to address new markets, and so on. So the, the first thing is that uh, uh, I think that uh, the, the, the variety of, of the students or the participants can address the question of innovation and the digital innovation, whether it be in the private and the public en environment. We have this transformation taking place <clears throat> in, in the two sectors. In, of course, in the private and in the public, the objective uh, can be different in, in the in the private. The main the main uh, objective is to enhance the competitive advantage and to develop the performance. In the in the public, it's more to develop new new service and new uh, in, in in some continuity of the new uh, public management. Uh, <clears throat> in particular, in in all the case, one of the important uh, topic uh, theory an issue to consider in uh, speaking of innovation is uh, the Schumpeter approach. And the, uh, the Schumpeter approach is, is an old one because uh, Schumpeter is an economist uh, of the beginning of the, of the 20th century. But we have also uh, a lot of research in, in management and in economy uh, taking place now considering innovation and that are called uh, neo Schumpeterian approach in this way, uh, the, 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 the main element of Schumpeter can be resumed in the three uh, 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 following topics. The first one is that, is that innovation is at the heart of the economy's dynamics. So it's a, it's a, it's a key dimension for, for the growth and level growth, and in particular for, for the, for the uh, <clears throat> developing countries. Creation and innovation means destruction of the old world, I should say, and that means that the incumbents and the actors uh, are at stake. Entrepreneurs have a key role in the development of innovation, and this is why startup 
and the ecosystem of startup is so much important at the digital age. And last point uh, raised by, by Schumpeter is that we have to distinguish different forms form of innovation. I will not go, I will not go uh, deeper into, the, into, into this point. So why speaking specifically of, uh, <clears throat> of, of innovation at the digital age, mainly because the technology at stake in uh, with the digital are specific compared to the previous technological ways. Uh, we have very rapid breakthrough. Uh, we have a technology who are combining information that means the capacity to, to process data and communication, that means the capacity to speak from distance and to uh, <clears throat> uh, without the same material support. And we have also a technology which is <clears throat> specific because it's a technology for all. The same computer I'm using to make uh, uh, this seminar can be used to, uh, to, to play video game, to listen to music or to, to watch a movie, but also to, to make calculation with, uh, with Excel or uh, to make accounting and financial <clears throat> management or to process, uh, or to to, uh, to manage uh, uh, supply chain so so we have uh, all purpose technology and everybody whether the, the the very final consumer or the manager or the specialist can have uh, uh, a viewpoint uh, regarding the, the, this uh, this uh, this technology and this digital application uh, the the effect has been so 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 high that in fact we we had a two tier evolution uh, related to the uh, <clears throat> firstly to the characteristic of the information and communication technology I just talked about that but we have to consider that this characteristic of the information technology had an echo in the, the objective of the management. And uh, in fact, the objective of the, of the management and develop in the, in the theory of the management for, uh, since the beginning of the, of the 10th century, regarding the division of labor, regarding the one-to-one -one marketing, regarding the partnership, industrial partnership, uh, et cetera. These objectives were independent of the technology. But we had some kind of echo be between the potentiality and the new potentiality opened by the digital technology on the one hand, and by the objective uh, <clears throat> that all the manager aim to address uh, since uh, decades uh, and centuries. So it's interesting to see that the, the, the very important uh, importance of this transformation at the digital level are the result of this combination of two uh, of two characteristics. Uh, so that means that the digital technology is uh, and still is a lever for, for growth because it covers wide field from agriculture to public service, because it tries new issue, uh, working at home, uh, dematerialization of service, because it helps company, but also countries to jump technological leaps and to go straight to new development. Think of the development of, for example, of digital money and mobile money in, in, in Africa, where a lot of development in, in mobile money has been innovative in Africa, uh, while the other country were still in a very old-fashioned old banking system, I should say. Uh, <clears throat> I, I should say that uh, considering the digitization of the company, uh, I said we had all purpose tool, but this digitization, uh, as a matter of fact, can address uh, the support of the management process, the, the decision uh, process, how to take decision and how to control activity, and can also address the creation of communication and marketing in order to have a, a more efficient uh, relation with, with customer, for example. So innovation is a complex system which, which can no more be analyzed through the obsolete li linear model of the old fashioned innovation, I should say, but uh, taking into consideration the numerous stakeholders 
the complex ecosystem, and this is why in the academic literature, this uh, notion, this concept, ecosystem, uh, uh, stakeholder, and so on, uh, took uh, so much, so much uh, importance. As a result, the point is, should we consider that innovation is a result of the technology or is a result of the market demand for new service and product? And in fact, uh, this alternative between technology push and market pull in the other way are a key concept in the theory of the management and in the, the theory of innovation. And uh, the consequence of this, uh, of this alternative can be uh, found in the way we analyze the consumer demand for new goods and information, or in the way we analyze the supplier proposal and offering uh, supported by, by, by this new technology. And in terms of analysis, this, this open, what I should call the, the Gardner metaphor alternative. That means that the, the uh, innovation development and, and project management can be handled on the one hand as a result of an, uh, a priori selection, ex ante selection, we selecting first the good project and thinking in the governance and the good guidance in order to help this project to, to be developed in a good way. Or on the other hand, we can also consider the development of innovation and on a considerably, uh, completely different way, which means that in, you know, instead of or just selecting the good project at the beginning, we let all the project developing by themselves and making the selection at the end, considering the one who developed uh, more easily and more efficiently and so on. So this alternative, as a consequence in terms of, in terms of theory and applicable theory, the first one is that we should uh, uh, ex ante selection means that we consider the innovation first, uh, how to identify the, <coughs> the, the, the innovation, the good innovation, the good project, uh, with some consequence for, for the, the, the decision making, the selection of the project, and so on. But on the other hand, we can also consider that. A good product management is not a good innovation project management, but a good capacity to develop an incentive structure contributing to stimulate the emergence of innovation, which is a, a, a completely different uh, viewpoint. That means uh, aiming at fostering a creative atmosphere rather than at emphasizing creativity and uh, uh, quality of, of management. So uh, maybe to conclude, in order to support this development, the, the digital strategy today can be analyzed as a capacity to control four key resources. The first one is uh, the, the capacity to control the information and to use the information as a strategic uh, tool. The second one is the control of the technology. Speaking of digital means that we are experts in digital in some way, or the company or the entrepreneur should be expert, or the organization, if we are speaking of public organization. The control of location, and we see that organi organizing wheels this week, we have been able at the BSI to, to, to share uh, the, the, the location in, in various countries of the participant and of the faculty members. So that means that this capacity to think, uh, <clears throat> this articulation between on distance and uh, live activity is of course one, one, one of the key resource of the strategy. And the last one is the capacity to control the use, the users and the community because a large part of the innovation today are bottom-up innovation rise by the capacity of the crowd, the wisdom of the crowd, the name of the famous book, to contribute to the, to the emergence of, of new project and new service and uh, more efficient service. But this resource, and this will be my response, should be considered not as a capital to be used, but should be considered in a, dy in a dynamic perspective 
That means that the problem is not the control and the allocation of this resource, but the capacity of the organization uh, of the various actors to use them in the way they are developing their project, in the way they are positioning themselves in the market, so in the organization or in, in the development of, 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 the, of the new service. That means that this resource should be con considered dynamically and not statically as, as a static uh, resource and a static capital. So, very briefly uh, said, opening toward public management, toward market structure, toward new business model, uh, means that this question of, of the management of, of the innovation digital age uh, can be uh, approached through very, very different uh, perspectives. So I spoke and I give you now the, the floor in order to make your comment. So my recommendation, please, Try to be short. Do not forget to present yourself and maybe to identify the, the question you, you would like to, to discuss uh, with me and, and with your colleagues. Thank you. Of course, you will have a, a copy of the slide. Nobody uh, would like to, to open the... Uh, the discussion. Andy, for example. Are you listening to me? I don't have any feedback. <laughs> Eric, can you can you speak? Because I, I don't listen to it. Uh... We, we can hear you. Okay. No problem. But, uh, okay. So yeah, yeah. I can, so you can hear me, but I can hear you. I cannot hear you because nobody would like <laughs> to, no, no. to open. I know it's, it's quite I, difficult to open the discussion. Okay, so, okay, Vivek, for example. Okay, probably I'll, I'll ask a question. Like, I, I think uh, my topic is quite related to the same subject. It's about stakeholder oriented project methodology to improve effectiveness in information system. Uh, like where I'm taking an angle that like we are in a tech enabled world and how to get things more like stakeholder oriented. And the way I see digital transformation probably is more about even changing the culture or shifting the culture. So we, we need to think differently instead of thinking sequentially, thinking more innovation oriented. So what's your view on the cultural aspect of digital transformation, how to generate that culture or develop the culture in the organization? Because generally management is also coming from tech enabled world. Okay, I, I should say that maybe not in answer, but if, if uh, any other would like to, 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 uh, to respond, do not hesitate to, to, to raise your hand. So. I should say that in the recent years, the, the theory of innovation shifts from the management of innovation to the management of creativity. And in fact, a large part of recent papers and recent research made on this field mean that, in fact, we have, we, we, uh, companies are looking for new tools, actually, as you, as you mentioned, to develop the creativity and not only to manage a problem. It's assumed in some way that, okay, project management is something that is almost well known now. At least we have the main uh, element or the main key element of the management of uh, innovative projects. And um, we had a lot of research on this field uh, since the, 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 the year 80s, I, I should say. But now the main point is, is actually, as we said, how to, to develop this, firstly, this culture of creativity, but also, to manage the creativity and to help the company to be more creative. And in fact, we have some very formal uh, process or procedure or methods, for example, I think of trees, which is a specific method in order to, to, to conceive new, new projects. 
but we have also a lot of researchers trying to understand. And for example, looking in the creative creative industries like a video game, for example, or, or, or movie production, how these companies and these creative industries, which are aiming from the very beginning to create new project, new films, new video game, new music, etc. How are they handling the question of the creativity? Is just a is it just a question of expert of talent? And the question of the management of talent is a very important uh, <coughs> uh, uh, point raised uh, at the end of the of the, of the of the millennium. Or is it also a question of organizing the cooperation? between the talent on the one hand, the technical support on the other hand. And for example, we, I had colleagues who made very interesting work on the um, Cirque du Soleil, which is a, a very strange company. Why should the manager uh, should look to a uh, to company like Circus instead of automotive or a more serious uh, uh, field. But in fact, speaking of, of, of Cirque du Soleil, it's interesting because they have been able to combine research and development in order to, to create new equipment, new uh, device and so on, and also uh, creativity in order to create content and, uh, and, and live uh, events, which are uh, Provoking emotions and pleasure uh, from <clears throat> from the the, the, the attendance. So so uh, I will not answer you. Of course, it's not the same. But I, I can tell you that this question of the the import the importance of the process in order to support the creativity is one of the very important aspect of the recent work on the innovation. And I think management's risk appetite also has to change. Uh, they need to be more uh, willing to take risk when innovation comes with the appetite to take risk, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know, in, in some way, and I, I, I mentioned trees, for example, that means that manage, uh, in fact, company try to develop new creativity process while keeping in some way the same culture of management with a procedure, division of labor, and uh, analytic uh, approach of the, of the problem, etc. So it's, it's it's intriguing in some way how to reconcile the, the traditional uh, uh, culture of management in in, uh, in in organization, the professionalization of management on one hand, and the the capacity to think out of the box uh, on the other hand. Thank you. Can I maybe quickly chime in here from a from a, 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 a practitioner standpoint? So for 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 succinct introduction, I'm the uh, I'm, I'm the global head of uh, of leadership talent, so a CHRO at at the group level of a multinational healthcare company. And what our services, healthcare by default, are old gen old generation, old old industries. And, and yet over the years, we've also realized the shift more towards digital solutions type services as opposed to brick and mortar type of operations. So it's a fundamental shift in operating model. And uh, what I found very interesting about what you highlighted here, Professor, was that was that shift from managing uh, the, the how, how to cope and how to manage this, this is element to, to, of, of, of innovation to figuring a way to create uh, that, that that element of innovation and similarly we have, we've been we've been hiring from the, the most interesting places such as for example from Disney and uh, uh, EA games which is a, a digital gaming company because these individuals from those organizations to your point uh, grew up in an environment where creating new content creating new ideas is the bread and butter business so bringing that that and infusing that into traditional industries like ours leads to very, very interesting cross-pollination uh, where old industries like ours can learn how to become more innovative as a, as a consequence. No, you're, you're right. So Disney is also, uh, of course, a very interesting uh, case. Uh, one, one illustration of this paradox, I, I should give a couple of them. One illustration of the paradox is given, for example, in the typology provided by Henri Minsberg 
in the 80s regarding the different form of structure of organization. And one of the main structure of the organization proposed by Nilberg is professional bureaucracy. And professional bureaucracy, and one of the more emblematic uh, case is the hospital, the health system, is a situation where we have on the one hand, a very formal organization, the hospital with very different department, uh, very, uh, very strong division of labor among uh, radiology, uh, surgery, uh, urgency, uh, and, uh, and so on, on the one hand, but also a situation where the, the people who is taking the main decision regarding how to, um, to take <coughs> patients uh, to, to take care of patients, uh, how to spend money, how, how long uh, should they stay in the hospital and so on, are taken by a doctor, by, uh, by talent in some way, which are completely autonomous in the way to address the illness of the, of the patient. So there is this uh, paradox of a very uh, structured organization on one hand, a bureaucracy, a large extent in almost every country, but in the same way, the capacity of this bureaucracy to deal with a very strong autonomy of the profession. And in some way, it's very similar in the, in the educational field or in the, in, the, in, the, in the creative field. But, and this paradox today is interesting because if we see, you spoke of Disney, and we can speak of the audiovisual content, we have this very strong creativity. If you look at, at the TV program or the movie, uh, a wide variety of, of, uh, of, 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 of TV program. But on the other hand, they are very formalized in the way they are produced. With uh, the, the, the organization of labor is very strict. The way each program is developed with a showrunner, with people, right, uh, uh, scenarists, and, uh, and uh, producers and so on. Uh, if we just consider the producer, for example, we have six or seven different kinds of producer because each one is taking a, a different aspect of the production process. It's another example of this capacity of the modern of organization in some way to combine this strong creativity with a very strict professionalization and uh, uh, organization of, uh, of the supply chain. And of course, what, one of the problem, it's very important if we speak of the quality of the innovation, but also the quality of the public service, if we are thinking also of the public management, is in which extent going too deep into this professionalization of the creativity is not, is or not, reducing the quality of the innovativeness and the quality of the new project and the quality of the self. So there is, in this paradox, there is this combination, uh, which is, uh, of course, different, difficult to, to, um, to address. Do, is there any question, any uh, other question or, or remarks? Uh, Jean Claude, Andy, Rene, Alison, Carole. Allez-y, Carole. Ou Jean Claude. Are you talking about me? Uh, it's uh, Jean Christophe, actually. It's JC. Well, excuse me, I, I just said JC, and I, uh, I have some good friends. His name is Jean Claude. So, Jean Christophe. So no, you, you can call me Jesus Christ. Um, but no, actually, um, I actually just to, to present myself very, very quickly, uh, I uh, presented my, my thesis at the BSI uh, in, in 2017. So a few years ago, I was very interested by the topic, and, and I just wanted maybe to, to bounce on what you said about the paradox um, and, and the link with, with the, the, the digitalization um, by, by just stressing out maybe another type of paradox that I, that I encountered when I did my uh, thesis, which is about um, uh, 
what Sarasvati uh, has uh, de de defined as causation and effectuation. Um, two different ways of conducting um, creativity projects or uh, um, development and innovation. Um, causation basically consists at um, uh, looking at uh, existing means, uh, what are your resources, uh, sorry, uh, looking at the, the target causation, uh, looking, this is what we do usually uh, um, with uh, uh, regular uh, innovation projects. We make a, a market study, uh, we identify some needs uh, uh, of, of development, then we uh, start a whole procedure with uh, uh, stage gates, uh, with, with reviews, with go no goes, uh, with budgets, and so on. And uh, hopefully, we end up with uh, an innovation that works in the market. Um, the other way of looking at it is called effectuation, where you look at the means, you look at the resources you have, and then you start looking at all the different possibilities, known by trial and errors, and, uh, and, and, and then you end up with an innovation that is something that you have maybe not uh, thought about when you started the, pro the, the process. It's a little bit difficult to explain in a few words, but the, the, the point I wanted to raise is that uh, in my study, uh, I, I realized that actually the two different ways exist and can be supported by different, different digital systems and information systems. But both the, the two different uh, uh, ways exist or can coexist in some organization, but usually the more classical way of conducting innovation, uh, so that is causation, um, is, uh, uh, is for long-term uh, or long-cycle developments, um, whereas uh, effectuation is much more for short-term um, projects. Um, because of the very nature of, of the approach. And they ask for different digital systems to, to support because you don't divide uh, your resources, you don't divide time the same way if you are taking one approach or the other. So I just wanted to, to bring time in the discussion about this digitalization here. Yeah, yes, thank you very much, Christophe. Uh, for this input. Yes, as a matter of fact, we, I told you we have some kind of professionalization in the way to, to address innovation. And that means in particular, as you mentioned, the capacity to discriminate between the creative uh, uh, dimension, the effectuation dimension. I should say also the implementation dimension, which is a, a step later. And, uh, and in fact, we, we can also uh, consider in which extent the digital change this different role and this different aspect. In the creativity, for example, the, the digital make possible to have a, a digital uh, blueprint and to test solution more easily than it should be uh, in, in the traditional life. Uh, also for the effectuation or for the benchmark of the alternative solution, very much more easy to, uh, to, to identify or to look for, for, for alternative. Uh, and, but at the end of the day, we, are, we still are in this traditional uh, distinction between, I should say, the three main uh, aspects of, of the development of innovation, which is on the one hand, uh, the, the creativity, the creation of value, uh, how, uh, in, in which extent the, the new innovation create value for the user, or for, whether it be the, the final user of, of the company. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, the second point, in which extent are we able to, uh, to provide this innovation, the question of implementation. And the third important dimension is in which extent this innovation contribute to share the value among the various stakeholders. And this, alter this alternative between creating value on the one hand and sharing value on the other hand explain why 
it's so much important to take into consideration the various stakeholder and contributor because each contributor should should get back something from the chain especially if we keep in mind the Schumpeter approach of creative destruction. If creativity destroys something, the one who, are, uh, who have who support the destruction should have something in compensation. And of course, this means that the business model and the new business model and the new digital business model are so much important in the way they are contributing to the sharing of value. And if we look to the main innovation today, uh, uh, supported by the digital platform like Google, uh, Facebook, Amazon, uh, Spotify, and so on, uh, we, we can see that the, the big question at stake and supported by also uh, regulation attacks uh, are concerning this sharing of value how to share the value of the downstream when the service is provided for free for the final consumer, how to measure uh, the, the value created by the platform and how to share the value with the different contributors uh, and uh, whether it be the newspaper, for example, or the music producers and so on. So it's a, it's a very important point to keep in mind. A second point I would like to, to, to underline is also that, in fact, considering this process of, of innovation and this continuous process, the question is probably, should we just consider the innovation by itself as an autonomous project, or should we consider innovation as a flow of transformation, of continuity? I will give you a, a, a small example. Um, you all have, I guess, a smartphone, uh, a smartphone, whether it be uh, an iPhone or Samsung, etc. When I, when uh, Apple invented or created the iPhone uh, 12 years ago, should we consider the iPhone as an innovation, or is innovation not the iPhone 3, the first one to be sold, but the continuity and the capacity? to create a global ecosystem with uh, I, uh, the smartphone on the one hand and the application store on the other hand. The smartphone, but a continuity of smartphone changing every year with new version and so on. So just to say that the innovation at the digital age, if we take an example like the smartphone, is not a single innovation, the smartphone, but it's a complex ecosystem created by Apple and evolving continuously and making more difficult to identify what is really the, 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 the innovation at the beginning to be supported. Uh, where does the creativity take place? Is it just a disruptive creativity or the capacity to support uh, <clears throat> Uh, incremental, marginal uh, creativity uh, once the product exists. So the paradox I mentioned at the beginning is also a capacity to address this specific paradox of the articulation between disruptive change and a succession of incremental transformation uh, and the sharing in uh, value among this, uh, this uh, large ecosystem. Okay, do we have uh, maybe a, a, a last part? Because we... No? So I, Christine, Carol, Sherine, Divali, Antoinette, no? Um, okay, I, I know that it's not always easy to speak, uh, well, in, in, uh, 
uh, especially at distance and if you are just at the beginning of your of your of your research um, project so uh, if you have additional question uh, <clears throat> do not hesitate to to, to contact me I, I, I should be also in uh, able to, to send you uh, to send you some reference or uh, or some comments if, if you are looking for um, uh, and uh, <clears throat> um, I forgot what, <laughs> what else I wanted to say. Uh, yes, so, so maybe the last point. Uh, of course, when I suggest this uh, this, uh, this small uh, seminar, uh, this is because when I, when I look to the various uh, theses, uh, this question of the digital transformation on the one hand and of the innovation, the role of innovation, is a, a question which is uh, present in uh, various <coughs> theses. And, uh, and and subject also because uh, as I said the digital the digital tools and digital technology are all purpose technology and all purpose tools so it's not surprising that we find this <coughs> uh, <coughs> capacity <coughs> and this change uh, support in the in the large variety of the of the sector you, you are addressing in, in your in your uh, in your uh, EDBA. So, uh, of course, uh, I think uh, do really uh, try to look at as, as this element, if, if you are uh, more precisely, even if it's not the, the core of your of your topic. And, and of course, as, as I mentioned, we have two different important perspectives. The first one is the internal perspective of the company, in which extent the digital technology support innovation in the process, in the business model, in the way to organize the performance, in the way to manage a project. And we discuss <coughs> the paradox at the beginning of our discussion. And the second important aspect, in which extent the digital technology support innovation in terms of new service, in terms of new product, in terms of new organization of the marketplace, in terms of new business model. And these two dimensions, internal and external, are of course, articulating themselves because the life is not uh, made of a distinct box and separate boxes. But <clears throat> for example, the business model uh, and the new business model, and the successful business model are the result of the capacity to think differently the organization of the production in order to provide completely new service. If you look to Uber, for example, there is a way to consider the private transportation in the city, not on the model of the taxi where uh, uh, an individual owns his car or her car and <clears throat> make people pay for, 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 the, for the use of, uh, of their car, but a situation where the platform organizes the sharing of information among the potential driver who are wishing to, to, to share uh, their car and the potential customer on a wider way than the traditional taxi and, and in a situation where the value is captured by the platform and not by the car owner. So with a diff completely different way of providing the service, but also a way of, uh, of sharing the value among the, the, <coughs> the platform and, and the owner. Okay, so if you don't have <coughs> additional points, I have uh, that uh, Frederick, maybe you can confirm the end of the of the of the meeting is uh, half past one. That's right. Correct. Okay, so <coughs> you you have my ma my mail email address on the on the slide the slide will be sent to the participant by, by frederick at the end of the meeting and of course uh, i think i will see some of you <coughs> this afternoon uh, for the certification process or maybe in the in the in the jury of, uh, of some of the thesis so it will be pleased and it really uh, 
deciding not to be able to 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 have a face uh, face face to face meeting, but uh, it's the same thing for everyone. And congratulations to the BSI uh, organization to be able to to organize some distant uh, weeks uh, uh, of uh, of doctoral uh, defense on such a successful way and with this capacity to continue to share information, to share knowledge, to share discussion, um, even on this. So thank you very much and uh, see you probably <laughs> at another occasion. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, goodbye. Thanks.